Hello. Uh, we're going to cover some uh, massage techniques from the Lee style push pull bodywork massage. We're going to be covering what we call combing, uh, and we're also going to be covering pushing. So we're going to start off with combing. Combing uses the five fingers. Uh, the center of the palm, the laogong point, is raised, and we're simply just going to comb down the length of our patient's body. Uh, combing can go anywhere, uh, anywhere on the body. There's no place that combing can't go. It can either be done in short or it can be done in long strokes. Gently combing, having that feeling of just unblocking any blockages, any knots of the energy that is in the acupuncture channels and points. It's a very good exercise to help to relax a patient when you first start off helps to calm their nervous system and also lower their blood, helping them to become more relaxed in themselves. Uh, it's important that when you pull in with your body and that your hands are not moving on their own separate from the body. So you've got weight transference from one leg to the other and gently stroke in any way on the inside or the outside of the body, working on the yin and yang channels of the individual patient. Uh, a patient will have a distinct feeling from uh, using the combing technique, and they will have a feeling of uh, coolness happening within their body because it has a tendency, as I've already mentioned, to lower blood pressure. We can go anywhere on the body to remove blockages. Combing is as if you were to run into an area that was tense or uh, raised. You could gently stroke through that area, encouraging the chi and the blood to gently flow through that area so that it begins to open up and increase the circulation. Uh, combing, as I've already mentioned, just uses the four fingers of the hand. It does not use the palm. If we were to use the palm, then we would call it the wiping technique. Uh, this is combing. The next technique I'm going to go into is pushing. Pushing is using the heel or the whole of the hand to push, and we start off, uh, in this case, pushing the person's spine so that. palm of the hand to gently press. We start off with a press and then as we start to push we start to palm is then used the chi and blood through the length of the patient's body. Again pushing can go anywhere on the body. This is single hand pushing. We use the other hand as a form of traction to f gently stretch the muscles while the other hand is pushing can go anywhere as long as it's away from the body. Uh, hence, that's what we call pushing. This is single hand pushing. We can also use double hand pushing, which is this. And again, it's my body generates the push, pushing away from me. And we can either do it in a double hand method or we can do it in an alternating method. But again, it's my body that makes the Gradually, from using the pushing, the patient starts to feel warmth as we're starting to move the blood and the chi through the spot. Uh, pushing can be used on the back of the leg. So we're coming from the tops of the hips, following the bladder channel down. So if we come to the back of the knee, we come to the Weijong point, which is bladder 40. If we come up to the calf, we're coming to bladder 56, which is Chan Sung point. And again, we can use two hands pushing down the leg on the top of the leg, outside of the leg, or top of the leg and inside of the leg, so we're covering both yin and yang channels. Again, 
It's my body that's making the hands move. Two hands pushing. Or we can alternate pushing. One hand follows the other. So these are two techniques. One was combing and the second one was pushing. Hope you enjoyed the video.